Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to English Cafe. And let's start today's vocabulary session. I'm really sorry. We got very late today. There were some technical issues, and we tried to fix those. Finally, we are able to fix, and we are able to be live and to interact with you. So please join me for this session, and let's learn some very interesting words and phrases in today's. Uh, session and we're going to learn the words from uh, the page number two in the Hindu. It's uh, page number two, which is about city. So we'll learn about ten new words. Please join me for the session so that we can get started. And if you have joined the session, do drop me a hi and tell me how you are doing. Now, um, since okay. There is some news again every day. We talk about Afghanistan. There's so much going on in Afghanistan. We'll talk about a news article that's about Afghanistan, and uh, it's about uh, you know it's about the refugees who are entering the country, who are entering India now. So this headline says, "Expedite refugee registration for those coming from Afghanistan." I hope you can see this sentence on your screen. And let me see if some of you are live. Let's just check. Okay, uh, Rajender. Oh, I'm sorry, Rajender. Actually, there was some technical issue connecting the webcam um, and the computer and the internet like that. So there were like some technical stuff, but we figured it out and it's working fine now. How are you doing, Rajender? Are you doing good? Arti, can you hear me? Oh, Arti, I think she had joined a long back, but she is. I'm not sure if you're there, Arti. Are you there, guys? Please join back. And yes, can you share this live session with your friends or share it on your wall? Please share it so that your friends can also learn some new words. Now, talking about this headline, let's let's start discussing because we have already lost so much time today. Let's talk about this headline that says. Expedite refugee registration for those coming from Afghanistan. We will talk about the words expedite and refugee here. So this, uh, this um, actually, uh, this statement has come because so many Afghan refugees are now entering India. So refugee, do you know what the word refugee means? i hope you guys know it but let's still discuss a refugee is a person who leaves their home country and you know who migrates to some other country because maybe there are uh, there are safety issues in their country like what's happening in afghanistan right now so the afghan people right now are uh, seeking refuge in other countries the other word here is expedite uh, expedite to expedite something means to make it happen faster so that's what it means to make something happen faster that is to expedite it for example um, for example if you order a product online and it's it's really urgent for you to get it delivered you can ask you can ask the seller to expedite the delivery like can you expedite the delivery of the product or um, we need to expedite um, we need to expedite the work on this project so to expedite means to uh, do it faster to make it happen faster that's the word expedite now those of you who are here can you tell me how you can use the word expedite in a sentence and let me see if i have any comments absolutely rajender expedite means to speed up um rajinder says how about you i am good i'm good rajinder just that there were some technical problems now expedite as you said to make something faster but can you use it in a sentence please use this word in a sentence because ultimately that's what uh, matters okay like i just told my colleague i said can you expedite to fix this so expedite means can you do it quickly let's move on to another uh, headline that says activists hold demonstration outside office of unhcr so there are two words here the first one is 
demonstration and the other one is UNHCR. It's not an English word, but it's an acronym. We will discuss this as well. The first one, demonstration. A demonstration is an act where a group of people come together against something, like to protest something or in favor of something. So that is a demonstration. Demonstration also mean um, to, uh, you know, to give a person um, like a presentation of how something works. The short form for demonstration is demo, right? We also use the word demo a lot. So that's also demonstration when you show somebody how it works, like how a particular machine works. So if you're showing this to someone, it's the demonstration of that machine. But a demonstration also means when a group of people come together and uh, they are showing their support for something or they are uh, they're against something. For example, so many people demonstrated against the CAA that was passed in our parliament. So they demonstrated against it. So the activists, what they're doing is they are holding demonstrations outside the office of UNHCR. Now let's discuss the word UNHCR. It's an acronym. UNHCR means the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. So United Nations, you know that United Nations is a nonprofit international organization that works towards ensuring safety and peace and brotherhood in the world. So they established UNHCR, that is United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. They set this up a long back they set this up around second world war after second world war actually so what some people are doing is they are holding a demonstration outside their office outside the office of the united nations human what is it united nations high commission for um, refugees so that is unhcr so these were four words that we just discussed Let's move on and let's talk about another headline that we have in today's newspaper. And let me see if I have any comments unread. Um, okay. Renu says, hi. Hi, Renu. Welcome to the session. And I'm sorry we were late today. Yeah. Sudha says, I need to expedite my... Yeah. So you can say, Sudha, that I need to expedite my English learning. Okay, that means you need to do it faster now. So I need to expedite my English learning. That's the sentence. Now, let's go ahead and let's talk about another headline from today's newspaper. It says, three held 93 kilograms of ganja worth 5.5 crore rupees seized. That's what it says. So you can see this headline on your screen. So held, three people were held. Held means uh, arrested. Three people were arrested by the police with 93 kilograms of ganja. So you know that ganja is a drug. Ganja is a Hindi word. Um, ganja can be called marijuana or I think cannabis. Do you know these names? Uh, these are like really potent drugs. Like ganja makes you feel happier after you consume it. I just read it. I have never consumed ganja. So, um, ganja is marijuana or, um, um, yeah, marijuana or this other name. What's the other name for ganja? Please tell me. So, they were, um, they were arrested and the same headline further says, they procured contraband, contraband from Orisha, Orissa, Orissa. So, the first word here is procure and the next one is contraband. Procure. Let's first talk about procure. To procure something means to get it, like to get something after putting some efforts. That's when we say, I procured it. Like, where did you procure? Maybe, where did you procure these books from? Or, uh, you know, I had to procure this from an international supplier. So I have to procure some equipment from an international supplier. To procure something means to get something after some efforts. Procure is mainly used in professional um, professional environment where when we need to get something, we need to procure it. And there are departments, like there are 
procurement can be a department in a company which is responsible for buying things for the company getting things for the company so to procure something means to get it with some efforts so absolutely to get and i think yeah so consumption of uh, marijuana is uh, or consumption of ganja i don't think is legal in our country but you guys can tell me i don't know much about it i think it's not legal so absolutely they had to they had to make efforts so they procured the contraband the other word here is contraband now contraband means things which are brought into a country or which are moved out from a country illegally like uh smuggling smuggled goods smuggled things are contraband because smuggling is illegal right illegal movement of goods that smuggling so contraband is the thing things that are moved into a country or moved out of a country in by illegal means that's contraband for example here we are they say that uh, the contraband means here the contraband is the ganja which was procured from orish orissa the contraband is and something that's being traded illegally contraband okay so these were the words that we just discussed here um, held and then ganja that's marijuana and uh, procure and contraband now let's go ahead and let's talk about another headline and let me see if i have any comments to read um rajender says uh, narcotic medicine oh so marijuana does have its medicinal use in our country but i don't think it's open for consumption of general public that's i guess it's not legalized renu says some activists agitating against the government right renu um rajender says extra materials like anything apart from important things um uh, that's not contraband so we just discussed what a contraband is Rena says, "I'm trying to procure some equipment for my hospital. Great example." Um, Rajinder says, "Yeah, so illegal material is a contraband." Now, guys, let's move on and let's talk about another um, headline that we have here. Um, it's about uh, it's about uh, Umar Khalid, the uh, the JNU student who has been in jail um, for the that like he allegedly uh, he allegedly provoked riots etc so let's read this it says umar says fir in riots case cooked up and unnecessary comma means it was cooked up and it was unnecessary riot i hope you guys know the word riot r i o t the so riots are uh, communal fights when people in groups come together and they fight each other that are riots i think in india it's uh, we keep hearing this word from time to time there are communal riots there are religious riots etc so but umar says so umar i think has been in police custody um for a long time for over a year now he says that the fir that was done on me in the riots case is cooked up he calls that fir a cooked up fir what do you understand by this what does it mean if he says that the fir was cooked up please let me know in the comments um rajender actually riots are not verbal altercations riots are real fights between people like uh, like the gujarat riots which year in which year did gujarat riots happen when they were like uh houses being burnt and people being killed those were that situation is a riot when did gujarat riots happen please let me know renu says some people were held with narcotics department for consuming ganja absolutely so we call we call it marijuana in english and there's one more word for ganja do you know that word in english please let me know um so cook up what does it mean if you cook up something or you cook something up like they say that umar says that the fir is a cooked up is cooked up one so if you cook something up that means you invent a story 
or you invent a plan or you invent an idea it's just imaginary you invent an imaginary idea or a fake story to deal with a situation so here umar is accusing the police of um, you know of uh, cooking up a false fir he says that you know it's not true what they have come up with the story uh, their story in the fir is not true so cook up and it happens right if we want to if we want to deal with the situation and we don't have we don't want to give the real answer then we cook something up we cook up a story so that's cook up for example uh, i don't think she is telling the truth her story seems cooked up or i think she is cooking it up you can use it in all the forms so cook up is a phrasal verb which means to invent a fake story or to invent an idea to deal with a particular situation and uh, for example many a time youngsters um youngsters when they don't want to tell the truth to their parents they cook up many stories and the parents usually trust them so cook up let me know how you're going to use this word this phrasal verb in a sentence actually cook up and the uh, the same headline further says that there are various contradictions in police's claim his lawyer tells court so mr umar khalid's lawyer says that the police has made so many claims and the claims that police have made they are actually contradictory there are contradictions in their claim so what does the word contradiction mean i think you guys know this word contradiction is such an such a commonly used word please let me know what it means until then let me see if i have any comments to read um renu says in my area i never saw riots between hindus and muslims yeah in the most part of our country people don't have riots but uh, in general in india we keep hearing the word riots multiple times um rajender says evasive answers absolutely that's what it is can you use the expression cook something up in a sentence please use it and let me know in the comments and the next word that we are discussing right now is contradiction contradiction means when uh, when two statements or two things are opposite like when uh, one thing that is said is opposite to the other thing that's an that's a contradiction right how can we use it for example um, for example you said that you hate people who smoke and now you're smoking that's a contradiction isn't it so that's that is a contradiction right if you if you uh, say something and then you say the next thing and they are opposite they don't match up one thing has to be wrong so that's a contradiction right or if you say that um, uh, you know for example uh, we say that we believe in uh, we, we believe in equality and we believe in human rights at the same time uh, we believe in the caste system so that's contradictory you can't follow a caste system if you believe in equal rights for all people so that's contradictory contradiction i hope you got the word um do let me know about a contradiction in the comments what is a contradiction according to you let me know in the comments and uh, i will move on to talk uh, talking about another headline again it's about um, it's about a jnu student who was arrested after um after his uh, ntcaa remarks so it says ntcaa stir sharjil Shur imam says his speeches did not call for violence you know ntcaa you know caa the citizenship amendment act that was enacted by our parliament in 2019 i guess and then there were um, there were groups of people protesting against it uh, one of those people was sharjil imam star yeah first word here is star s t i r the pronunciation is star and star 
actually stir has different meanings but here the word stir means to protest or to agitate or to demonstrate that's the word that's what the word stir means here the next expression i would like you to pay attention is to call for he says my speeches did not call for violence call for that's the uh, that's that's a phrasal verb actually and let's discuss what it means he said i did not call for violence through my speeches so what could it mean to call for something means to demand it okay for example uh, earlier this year a prime minister called for everyone to go local right he called for vocal for local so to call for something means to demand it okay or for example uh, the boss called for a report on this so the boss called for a report on this means he demanded he asked for it um, so that's how you can use it he said that uh, sharjil imam said that the speeches that i made did not call for violence that means they did not demand violence i did not demand people for violence he said i only said that we will protest and we have the right to protest in our, according to the constitution that did not mean i called for violence so that's what he says so to call for something means to demand it to make a demand for it now let's move on and uh, let's read another actually uh, further in the same headline it says cannot be hammered with sedition uh, sharjil imam tells the court so here there are two words one is hammer and the second one is sedition you guys know what a hammer is you know a hammer is a tool which where there's a metal and then there is a there's a wooden uh, like there's a wooden what do we call it a wooden stick attached to it and that we use that metal uh, we use that tool in our houses the hammer but to hammer somebody for example the hammer can have different meanings so the um, the instrument is called hammer and then what we do with that instrument like on the wall if we have to fix a uh, we have to fix something so we use the hammer so that action is also called hammering if you're fixing something using a hammer that's hammering um, but to hammer somebody can also mean to um, to criticize them or to make uh, uh, a remark on them so to hammer somebody can also mean to criticize them or to hammer someone can also mean to defeat them in something like the team was hammered in yesterday's match that means the team was defeated you can use this word for other things but here here the word hammer is related to hitting uh hitting means here the police or yeah here he has been hit with the charges that's what we're talking about otherwise to hammer somebody can also mean to criticize that person to hammer someone can also mean to defeat that person but here we're talking about hitting the person uh or pressing the charges on that person and the the charges of sedition what does the word sedition mean sedition is a serious crime actually and sedition means when you say something or when you do something uh, that provokes people against your own government maybe the people can get violent or maybe you choose violent means that is what sedition is like when we were ruled by the british uh, people like bhagat singh or chandrashekar azad were charged with sedition and they were sentenced to death so that was sedition for them for us it was not sedition for us it was patriotism and for us it was a revolution but for the british government it was sedition because they were trying to speak and they were trying to do things against their very own government so that is sedition and uh, these were the words that i wanted to discuss today now let me see if i have any comments to read before we wrap this up um 
Okay. Renu says, Ram has cooked up a plan against Mohandas. All right. Great one. We have some contradiction about our economic policy. Right, Renu. Okay. Rajendra says, uh, there is contradiction between creation and evolution, is there? Great example. There is a discrepancy between truths and myths. Okay. So that says, children believe, uh, yeah, children can cook up the stories easily, right? Renu says he had called for a meeting today. Okay, good. Rajendra says, Prime Minister calls for cheer for India. Mm -hmm. Okay. Discriminate something. Sedition is about actually speaking up or doing things against your own government. Yeah. So Rajendra says diso disobeying the law of India is sedition. Absolutely. Disobeying the law is sedition. So guys, these were the words. Let's quickly summarize these words. The first one was expedite. So to expedite something means to make it happen quickly, to make it happen faster. Second was refugee. So a person who flees their country and seeks asylum in some other country because maybe it's not safe in their country is a refugee like afghan refugees are uh, fleeing afghanistan and seeking refuge in other countries the next word was demonstration demonstration means the act of gathering in groups against a particular thing or in support of something that's a demonstration and demonstration also means to um, you know uh, to show how something works to someone that's a demonstration um, the another acronym that was there was unhcr unhcr is not a word but uh, it's an acronym and it means united nations high commission for refugees the next one um, yeah so the next one was held h-e-l-d held means arrested other one was procure to procure something means to uh, get it with some efforts next one was contraband contraband are things that are moved into or moved out of a country by illegal means the next word was to, to cook something up means to invent a story or to invent an idea to deal with a particular situation like a false story a false idea to uh, deal with a particular situation Next one was contradiction. Contradiction means when two things are opposite each other, then one of them is definitely wrong. So that's a contradiction. The next word was stir, S-T-I-R. So stir means to, um, to use a spoon or something to mix a liquid with something, that's stir. But a stir is also uh, an agitation or a protest, stir. Next word here was to call for to call for something means to demand it the next one was hammer hammer is a tool that we use but to hammer someone means to criticize that person or to hammer someone also means to defeat that person the last word was sedition sedition is the act of doing things against the govern against your very own government so that's sedition so these were the words that we learned in today's session. Please let me know if there were any new words that you learned or any new phrases that you learned during this session today. And uh, in case you just joined, you can watch this session later as this session is going to stay here. And yes, we conduct this live session at 4 p.m. every day. So please join us. In this session, we always discuss five to ten advanced english words from the newspaper headlines from the daily newspaper headlines so please join us every day to learn some new words and phrases and uh, please share it with your friends you can share it uh, on your wall or you can share it privately with your friends so that they can also learn new words and do let people know about this free session at 4 pm every day and if you would like to uh, improve your fluency in english we can help you through our online spoken English courses. So please join us. Um, like, please get in touch with us. 
and learn more about how we can help you through our courses to become fluent, to speak English confidently and comfortably. That's all from me for today's session. Do let me know how you like this session and uh, what's your feedback? Did you find it useful? And once again, I'm really sorry for being late. We got uh, really late today. We could start it only about 20 minutes later, but we usually and we usually start this session on time, which is 4 p.m. So please join us at 4 p.m. every day. And let me see if there are any unread comments that I have. Um, okay. Rajinder says, ACB held government official for graft. G-R-A-F-T is what you meant, Rajinder. Rajinder says, disobeying the law. Okay, I read that. Renu says, he has called for a meeting to discuss the main issues. Great example. Okay, Rajinder says, call for was a new one. Good. I'm happy that you learned a new word. So, guys, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Do let your friends know about this free session at 4 p.m. every day on English Cafe. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening.